Interesting news, as you know, Bob Iger has now admitted that they have quietly ended several of their woke films never to be released after spectacular flops like Little Mermaid, Haunted Mansion, um, you know, Snow Brown, um, Wish losing money, The Marvels losing money. He's come out to say that while he thinks Deadpool and Wolverine will be one of the better performing Marvel movies in a while, and I actually, I can't dismiss that. I think people will go see Deadpool, Deadpool 3. I just have a feeling because people like the movie. People like the franchise, and I think it's still rated R. But, uh, you know, I'm not in any interest to give Disney more money, and I think there's still a lot of people like me that are like, yeah, I'll wait for it to come out on streaming or I'll watch it in another way. Speaking of other ways to watch things, how about, do you have a VPN? Check out this message from Private Internet Access. Huge shout out to this video sponsor, Private Internet Access. Look, in current year, everyone basically has to have a VPN. It's a extremely versatile and now basically required tool of browsing the modern internet. And that's why I'm happy to be partnered with Private Internet Access and have been for over a year now. It's a VPN I use, it's a VPN I recommend to my friends and family, and I have a massive discount for my viewers. In short, a VPN allows you to change the location that you may be seen as browsing the internet from. This helps you unlock television shows and movies that might not be available in your area. It allows you to browse the internet anonymously. Heck, even right now, we just saw several countries, for example, Google and Meta are now blocking news in Canada. And well, how are you gonna get your news? Well, you could change your location. VPN helps protect your privacy, secure your data, and bypass network blocks. It comes in extremely important all the time, that's why I have it on my computers, laptops, and mobile phones. Private Internet Access is an open source app with no usage logs, unlimited bandwidth, high-speed global server network, dedicated apps, powerful encryption, and 24-7 live support. Unlock the power of the internet and stay censorship-free by using my link in the description below and get yourself... Now, as Disney looks to rebound following a rough 2023, Bob Iger has opened up about the com uh, how the company has quietly canceled several films. Speaking at a conference hosted by the financial services company, Morgan Stanley, Bob Iger was asked what he was doing to help turn Disney's films around. He admitted that the studio had shelved several projects saying they were not strong enough for their slate. <clears throat> I wonder what those projects might be. Could they have to be, could they have been more reimaginings? Could they have been more, uh, you know, woke rewrites? I suspect yes. Quote, you have to end the things that you no longer believe in. And that's not easy in this business because either you've gotten started, you have some sunk costs, or it's a relationship with either your employees or with the creative community. Iger explained, it's not an easy thing, but you've got to make those tough calls. We've actually made those tough calls. We've not been public about that. We've killed a few projects already that just didn't feel like they were strong enough. Well, <laughs> well, well, well. It's almost like, it's almost like they can't take on yet another $200 million loss at the box office. I mean, the Marvels obviously was an embarrassment. Madam Web, even though is not technically a Disney release, it is kind of, but not really. That was a disaster. They're trying to convince themselves still that, you know, superhero fatigue isn't a thing when it absolutely is. But bigger than superhero fatigue is crappy movie fatigue. People are kind of over crappy movies. Bob Iger did not say what those films were. But it's confirmation that Warner Brothers is not the only studio scrapping projects. We do know of at least one movie that was removed from Disney's release schedule 
Magazine Dreams, a Sundance drama starring John Majors, distributed by the Disney-owned Searchlight Picture. After, of course, Majors was found guilty in an issue between him and his wife, it is confirmed that Disney was dropping the film and allowing it to be shopped to other studios. He also addressed MCU fatigue. Iger also touched on the alleged franchise fatigue facing the MCU, pushing back on the idea, saying that it's more of a quality issue. I actually agree with that. So Bob Iger comes out and admits, Bob Iger comes out and admits that it's, they've been putting out crappy movies and that's why they're failing. That's, that's, what, that's what he's saying. Quote, a lot of people think it's audience fatigue. It's not audience fatigue. They want great films. And if you build great, they will come. And there are countless examples of that. Iger elaborates. Focus is really important. We reproduce the, out, we reduce the output of Marvel, both in the number of films they make and the number of TV shows. And that's become really critical. But I feel good about the team. I feel good about the IP we're making. I learned a lot about the projects. We look years ahead, really, and it's iterative. Well, the fact of the matter is, he's right. He's 100% right. Nobody had a problem going and seeing Oppenheimer. Nobody had a problem going to see Barbie. And by the way, these movies were out in the same weeks. And they both made like a billion dollars. Well, Barbie was over a billion. I think Oppenheimer was very close to a billion on a much smaller budget. I mean, he's not wrong. People will see good movies. Last year was tough for Disney as the media conglomerate struggled in various ways from layoffs to Disney Plus struggling to become profitable. The film releases such as Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny and the Marvels disappointing at the box office. Disappointing? Indiana Jones lost $300 million and the Marvels was the lowest performing Marvel movie of all time. Nevertheless, 2024 might be a better year for Disney's film slate with films such as Inside Out 2, Kingdom of the Planet of Apes, and Deadpool and Wolverine all slated to release this year. Iger at least claims that Deadpool and Wolverine will be one of the more successful Marvel movies Disney has had in a long time. Um, maybe? Maybe you could say that um, not more successful than Spider-Man, probably. Will Deadpool 3 make a billion dollars? I think it could if it's good. It could if it's good. Legitimately. If the movie's good, it could. I still think a Billy is a lot for a superhero movie in the post-Endgame world, but it's not outside of the realm of possibility. I think it'll be closer to like 800 to 900 million, which is still a lot. A lot. Um, and that would still put it as like one of the better um, Disney performing movies. Starring two white guys, by the way. Zoics. They quietly cancel movies because I'm sure those movies were woke trash. And they're like, well, let's just keep the good stuff. Deadpool and Wolverine. Guy stuff. Let's actually cater to the audience that, you know, buys our movies. Not the audience that spends all day terminally online tweeting about stuff. It's a very different customer base. Do I think that like, do I think that, uh, you know, I, I don't, I don't even understand who these people are, you know, who these people are. I, I don't, who are these people on Twitter that were mad at Gina Carano? They weren't buying Star Wars merch. They weren't going to the Star Wars theme park. They weren't going and out and seeing Star Wars movies. They weren't seeing, they weren't even watching it on Disney+. Plus. So, will Deadpool and Wolverine save them? No, it won't save them. 
people will see a good movie and it depends if the movie's good or not. That's what will determine if people say just because Deadpool and Wolverine does good, that will not in that does not mean the next you know garbage Marvel movie that comes out will also do good. Most of the Marvel movies that did good, with the exception of like Captain Marvel, were at least okay. And I would argue that, you know, all biases aside, you could probably say the original Captain Marvel movie was still quote unquote okay. But the stuff they're putting out now has been hot trash. So they need to at least, you know, not do that. <laughs> not, you know, not to put out hot DEI trash. And that alone will save the company. We'll see.